closer look at black hat versus white hat versus red hat. More black hats and white hats are black bumps or white bumps, but they are have similar classes. You can treat both with similar option. Black hats and white hats are two common type of acne. As the name suggests, black hats look like the black dot on your skin, and white hat look like some white spot. While black hats and white hats form differently, both respond to similar treatment and approaches. Here a closer look at what causes white hats and black hats plus tips for managing both. How black hats develop? Black hats are also called open common zones. Common zones are the skin colored bumps that form when you have a pimple. In case of black hats, these common zones Come downs consist of follicles beneath your skin with a very large opening or pores. When you have black hair, these large pores become clogged with a substance known as sebum. A chemical reaction with the sebum occurs under your skin. Melanin is oxidized and turns the clogged pores a black color. This form of acne is found is often found on your back, shoulders, and face. How white hair develop? White, white hair are known as closed compounds. The follicle beneath your skin become filled with bacteria and uh, and have a very high, very small opening at the top of skin. Air is not able to enter the follicle, so the bacteria is not inside. Don't undergo the same chemical reaction that causes blackheads to the dark. Like blackheads, white heads are typically found on your back, shoulder, and face. Treatment. Both blackheads and white heads are caused by clogged pores, which means that they can be treated similarly. OTC product can be effective in treating blackheads and white heads. Look for products that contain benzoyl trioxide and salicylic acid. Both help to remove oil or dead skin cells that clog your pores. You can find everything from facial washes to creams to Astringents containing the, these ingredients at your local drugstores. A review of existing research also suggests that following natural remedies may help to reduce acne in some people. Applying tea tree oil to your skin, consuming the pollen when you're following a low glycemic diet. Above all, avoiding touching your face as much as possible. You may be tempted to bring your black hairs or whooping white hairs, but spreading the bacteria that were were in your pimple onto your skin can lead to most outbreak across the rest of your face. Picking at pimples can also lead to scarring, discoloration, or skin that is dead, irritated, and painful. Common myths about acne: there are many myths involving skin care and pimples. Here, closer look at five of the big ones. First one is eating chocolate causes pimples. Diet is only a small part of picture and it's unclear whether certain food directly cause acne. Second one is frequent face washing with soap breakout. Third, you can get rid of pimples by popping them. Fourth, makeup breakout worse. Fifth, turning and can.